Welcome to another Joe Cooks. This week, we'll be having a coat risotto. Nice, a versatile Italian classic, perfect for this channel. We'll have a quick run through of the ingredients, then we'll get, then we'll get started. There'll be full lists in the description as normal. So we'll be using 150 grams of a boreal rice, or risotto rice. I got this one from Asda, it's perfect. This will serve, sorry, this will make two big servings. Two big servings. We use 100 grams of diced onions, I'm just using frozen ones. 10 grams of chopped garlic. Chicken stock cube with a pint of water. 10 grams of a low fat spread, that's suitable for cooking. 10 grams of oil, olive oil. I'd be very precise with the olive oil because it kicks a, it packs a punch. This one's got 85 calories for 10 grams, so we've got to be, we've got to be on it. We've got to be precise. 30 grams of a hard Italian cheese. We'll be putting some in the risotto and we'll be using a little bit at the end to put over the top. This one is, this one, Grana Padanano or whatever it's called from Littles. It's nice, it's not so salty, not so salty. And for the filling, I'm going to stick to traditional run-of-the-mill mushroom and bacon. So we've got 100 grams of mushrooms. We'll be using four, gram, uh, four rashes of this streaky bacon. Now I've used smoke, you can use whatever you want. You can use ham, you can use fish, you can use everything. Small handful of mixed herbs. And that's, that's us. Right, we'll crack on, we'll get started. Right, let's get to it. First of all, what we're going to do, we're going to make a pan of stock up. About a pint, pint and a half. It doesn't really matter, it's just to, to feed the rice. So we'll chop the stock cube up into a pan. And a good tip here is to keep the stock warm. Just like in the old kitchens, I don't think they do it anymore, but in when I was a young boy, it was a young boy, when I was younger, working in kitchens, the good kitchens had a stock pot and it was always kept warm. You could just go and dip what you wanted. You had a chicken stock pot, you had a beef stock pot. So what we'll do, we'll just make this up. I think health and safety's done done away with all the stock pots and that. But um, not in my kitchen, not in my kitchen. We'll just stir that in. And you can put the mixed herbs in here as well and it'll help feed them through the risotto as you're cooking it so we'll just put this a small handful of mixed herbs in and this can just sit on the hob on a low heat until we need it okay for the risotto Gonna start by putting olive oil in the pan and letting it warm up. In the meantime, we can we can sort with bacon out. Like I say, this one so 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 easy, but people overlook it. It's a it's a broth, I suppose. So we'll be using four rashes of this bacon, streaky bacon. Doesn't matter what you use, you can use ham, you can use whatever you want. Four, four rashes. You just want to chop it. As big or as small as you want, really. Like I say, there's no there's no real rules. I like mine quite small. So this this is about right for me. I think these dishes are great, you know, these one pot rice dishes, such as the Baltis and the Paellas and things like that. We'll get on to making them in the future, in future videos, because they're well worth it, they're well worth it. Just wait for this to warm up. We'll get the onions in and we'll, st we'll start with cooking. Right, we'll put that to one side for now. And we'll use it when we, when we need it. Right, 
In the olive oil, we're going to put the onions. And the garlic. And we're going to let them fry off for a bit. There might be a lot of fade in, fade out here because with risotto, it's down to patience. Patience is the key. But it's well worth the wait, well worth the wait. So we'll give it a couple of minutes for these onions to fry off and we'll get we'll crack on with the next the next stage. Right, the onions have had a couple of minutes. They're starting to soften. We can go in with bacon. We'll just break it up and scatter it in. I tried to look for meals for this channel that are versatile, that you can... Because I don't like to cook the same thing all the time, but I like to have a, a base, a base of certain meals. So you've got your one pot rice dishes like this, like the paellas and the faultys and that. Then you've got your curries and your, your bolognese style sauces, your pepper sauces. They're all really, really simple, really, really simple, and they'll save you a fortune if you make them yourself. This one, it's all in the patience, it's all in the patience for this one. So we'll give that a couple of minutes to cook off. Right, the bacon's had a couple of minutes. We'll go in with our mushrooms and a little knob of this butter. Only about 10 grams. Don't have to be as precise with this one, but don't go over the top. See the difference between a low-fat spread that you can cook with, and an oil is is immense. If, if you if you're on a you count your calories, this one 10 grams, 85 calories. This one 10 grams, 29 calories. It's a no-brainer, really. If, you, if you're trying to knock the calories out of your diet. Anyway, we'll put the butter in. We'll go in with the mushrooms. I don't want to be preaching about losing weight every five minutes because it's not nice and it's a personal thing really. If you want to do it, you'll do it. If you don't want to do it, you won't do it. There's no, there's no one on the planet gonna really tell you. It's got to come from you, it's got to come from you. Anyway, we'll give these a few minutes to cook off. Don't worry about any moisture coming off. Moisture is good. Moisture is good. The rice will take care of any moisture we've got. I've got this hob now on number four, so it's about three quarters on mine. I will turn it down once we start adding the rice and the stock and that. But for now, We'll just go with this. Mushrooms have had a couple of minutes. We'll go in with the rice. We'll just pour the rice in dry. And we'll just give it a good stir and let, let it soak these juices up on the bacon and the mushrooms and the onions. It smells absolutely fantastic, you know. This, like I said, this will do two big, wait, well, two decent sized portions. And I think they come in at about 600 calories. Which is not too bad, not too bad. Probably have mine with a bit of garlic bread and um, some, some broccoli or something. I'll give that a minute to cook off. See, the, the price point of this, you can, you can go nuts. It's, just, if it's a bit like the fish pie we done last week. You can go absolutely nuts and it'll cost you a fortune. Or you can go, I suppose I've gone down the middle ground where the cheese is expensive. The cheese, I'll put that in just to keep it authentic for this video, but you don't really have to use it. You don't have to use it at all. I mean, if I'm just knocking one up for a quick tea and I haven't got that cheese and I don't use it, it's simple as that. Simple as that. There's no real rules like that. Anyway, that's had a minute. 
And now comes the patience bit. What we're going to do is turn it down. I'll turn mine down to number three. And we're going to start spooning the stock in. This is with stock, nice and hot. You can use a cup or you can use a ladle, whatever. And we just want to spoon a couple of ladles in to get it started. Like so. That can go back on a on on a on a hob on very low heat just to keep it warm. We'll give it a stir and we'll let the risotto rice do its magic. It almost cooks itself. Almost cooks itself. What you gotta do now, because this this will take about half an hour. So what you do, every five or ten minutes come and check it. Make sure you've got some moisture in the pan. If, it look, if it's looking like it's absorbed everything, add a bit more stock and just keep doing that until, until it's cooked. It's, it'll take anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes. But it's fine, it's fine. So I'll probably um, do the fade in, fade out thing now for a couple of goes, just to show you its progress and that. Right, it's been about half an hour. I've been back, I've been stirring it. I've been putting the stock in, all the stock's gone now. I've washed the pan up and that. I'll give this a little wipe down. Right, now what you want to do, right at the end, is turn the heat off, completely off, completely off. And we're going to put in the frozen peas, which are now quite defrosted. But we want to put these in right at the end so they stay nice and green. And they give us that vibrant look, because otherwise it's, it's going to look a little bit dull. We'll give these a, a little stir in. As you can see, the peas have brought it to life. They've brought it to life. Look how thick and creamy it is. That's a consistency you want to look at. I'll get a, I'll get a grain. Here's a comparison. That's what we started with. The size, the size difference. Yeah, that's what we started with. That's what we're looking for. Fluffy, sticky, creamy. And we'll finish it by putting about half of this cheese in. This cheese is optional. I say all the ingredients are optional in this. Apart from uh, really the stock and the rice, everything else you can go for it. You can go for it in an experiment. Just put about half in. I say because if you've got a problem with salt intake. I don't like a lot of salt. It doesn't taste salty, it doesn't taste salty. But it, it is high in sodium, high in sodium. We'll give that a little stir in. It will thicken it nicely. Look at, look at that, lovely, lovely man. You can't beat it, you can't beat it. Well, keep an eye out for future videos because I will be doing the paellas and the baltis and stuff like that. Any, any meal that's versatile that I can swap about Use leftovers in, use cheap cuts of meat, vegetables, they'll, be all, they'll all be on this channel, they'll all be on this channel. Anyway, all I've got to do now is thank you for watching, like, subscribe, do all the youtube -y stuff, we'll portion this up, we'll have a little closer look at it, then, um, then we're done. Thanks for watching, be kind everyone, stay healthy, and yeah, great. Let's have a, a portion of this, look at that, lovely, lovely. I'm going to eat this and I'm going to go for a bite right to, to, to run it off. Well, there you go. My take on risotto, simple approach. No, no complicated ingredients, nothing complicated about how I've done it. You can do it, have a go. Tell us what you think about it in the comments. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy. Have a nice Sunday and I'll see you next week. Thank you.